Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 60, recorded on June 12th, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. Hi, I'm Agent Sully Belly. I had to shut off the intro there early because... I forgot to put in a new one that actually had the episode number. And it's all wrong, because it's from last week. <laughs> I'm thinking we change that to not have anything anymore. Makes it yeah, easier. that's like too much work. Every week? Oh my gosh. Yeah, right? That's Like, updating it once a week? Uh, who has time for that? Right? I Cause don't. Because I, I update it when I edit the video, but then I have to remember to update it before the show, and I'm busy updating. And then, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, so, I, I would do that, that exactly like once as well. Like thinking, this is so awesome. It's going to be so cool. And then I would do the same thing like the next week. <laughs> That's like, exactly what, what I did. What I, what I do? I'm not doing that. We're Why like two peas that? from the same pod because that's exactly yeah, what I did. We're the same level. Well, I'm a little more lazy than you. <laughs> I don't think that. <laughs> I don't think so. You're like digging fire pits and crap. I do. I do have to do Stuff that. Like that. So. So, okay. but I was lazy this week cause, uh, work I'm calling work and I did some linking. I still think I got my AP like roughly 250 or so. Hmm. I think I don't remember. I put my stuff in the stuff. Oh, I have to add mine to that one. Yeah, you do. I, I keep track of mine on another one. Uh, multiple sheets. For, I do. I'm in multiple competitions. I wonder if you can just put like a, a formula that pulls it from the other sheet automatically. I, I can't because that Google Sheet is locked into a a team folder oh. and it's on a completely different a, like Gmail account. Hmm, that's that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Interesting stuff. I, I make problems happen. <laughs> <laughs> You take care like of business to... and making problems. Hmm, yeah. I don't I'll, know. I'll, I'll fix that. Later. You save lives too, I'll though, so. Fix it in post. All is we'll forgiven. See. So I'm trying anyway. to think. This week, I uh, really yeah, was you do? looking at all the new stuff and did a little bit of linking, and that's about it. Like, there was really no activity in our cell so i wasn't having to like go out and defend or make sure we had fields up that sort of thing i did get uh some info from uh some friends who apparently there was a big band wave that went through today we're going to talk about that in sit rep though uh, okay but, but i have some information about that Oh, I saw a guy on Twitter complaining that he got banned for for having no proof of wrongdoing. <laughs> it wasn't that he, like, didn't do anything wrong. That wasn't his claim. His claim was that there was no proof of wrongdoing, <laughs> specifically. I may or may not have done it, but you can't prove it. It's like, shouldn't you say, I didn't do anything wrong, not you can't prove I did anything wrong. Right. Like, <laughs> like, I kind of... You kind of implicated yourself a little bit. Right. <laughs> you were put down on a sheet somewhere. It's like, okay, we were correct yeah. with that one. That one was the correct yep. one. <laughs> yep. Noted. So. Thanks for adding us so we noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> so what about you? I see okay. a bunch of stuff so here. I I got the numbers because I keep tabs on you because you are on a local portal from your visit. So I no. can just pull you up. And keep tabs on you, and you got uh, two hundred eighty-two thousand AP last week. There we go. Which is good. It's respectable. I got six hundred forty-one thousand last week. <laughs> yeah. 
That's really good. You're going to catch up. Yeah. You're going to yeah. pass me. I cannot catch up, though, because it's your total. Your total is... You're already at 36 million, almost. And there's no way. I'm at 20... I'm almost at 23 million. So... so but I am just... just I'm, like, right around 1 million um, until level 15. So Ooh. that'll be good. I'll That's finally good be level 15 and... That's a big deal. Um, I am less than 600 glyph hack points from my platinum translator. Uh, but I'm not badge locked, but it was still, I just want to get it. So yeah. I'm going to try and uh, get that done. I want to get that done before next week. I'm sure 600 is not, yeah. not too hard to get. And then um, uh, I went to Cedar Point, which is an amusement park in Ohio. Um, and I was with the family, like... A lot of family like it was my mom and dad my brother all his kids you know me and my husband and kids so it wasn't like an ingressing event right. so i didn't get a lot done but i got enough new portals hacked that i got my gold explorer badge knocked out oh, um, nice. but i wanted to do missions there's no way you could do missions with family like and kids like the kids ranged from i think fifth grade to eighth grade so like they're at an amusement park. There's no way you can, like, right. do your own thing. <laughs> so, do like, they know you play Ingress? Do they even know what it is? No. I mean, there's... They... they go, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm playing a game. Like, okay. Like, that's all they can. It's done. <laughs> right. <laughs> that's all the explanation that's needed. So, I just sit there and... Like, especially when you're in line, you just sit there and do stuff. Because every single ride is a... Is a thing. So, yeah. that's helpful. And, um... Was it all neutral uh, when you got there? Did you have to blow stuff up? No, or? there was like a couple. There was a lot of gray, but there was um, two other uh, green agents on portals already. I don't know if they were there mm. from the day before or if they were there earlier than me in the day. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, my stuff got blown up the next day. Then I got taken back to green the next day. So, I mean, it's a high... Seems like one Ingress player plays every day, <laughs> at least. Right. Um, so. There's nothing yeah. like going to a park alone. Like, so, we got these, um, there's a there's a park near us. It's a, like a Six Flags thing. And it was like a couple years ago, we got these passes because they were like a big sale. And we're like, oh, this will be fun. We'll do this like all summer and go to the park and as a family. Well, there was like some weird stipulations that you had to go pick up your passes by a certain date to get like the free parking pass and like these other goodies and it just turned out no one else wanted to go or could go or whatever so i went down by myself to get it and went to the park that day i didn't i, I think i rode like one ride but i was just ingressing like the whole time and it was so much fun just like in the park and i was pretty much all by myself like no one else was in there and you can just do what you want. So every once in a while, I'll sneak down there by myself and and uh, do some some fun over there. But. That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I have like dreams of making a big field from some keys I got, but it is like completely. Like, it is not a clear path, and it's definitely not something I could drive and clear you know right I mean? right or even hey I'm can like, you go in there and light that portal up for me uh yeah yeah like it would just yeah. have to be a per so i have a couple that i'm just keeping for nostalgic purposes just like oh cool i have you, this you know do you have like a, a memory like i have a keycap that's just memories i do my uh my red um locker is for memories i have wrigley field from chicago um stuff like that you know yeah I don't know. I don't that's go funny. to exotic places. I'm going to Wrigley Field. <laughs> no, but that's like to me. It's like like any time I do an op now, I I keep a key from one of the portals in the op, and you know, an anomaly, I'll grab it, or like a family trip, or like yeah. just those special moments that like now I have them in that capsule and can pull them open and and look at them. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I sh oh, oh, yeah, well, you're, I should have gave you the water tower one so you could have it. Yeah. I got I, so I kept one from there. I don't know what it is. Oh, though. there aren't any good ones where we were, though. But I don't know. You could just make a crazy link to it. 
have everyone just straight up shoot there. me. Well, see, yeah. I did. I did that the other day. I was in a bar with a friend, and I clicked on a portal. Don't and be I, a dink. Throw the I, link. <laughs> I, I was I wasn't a dink. I threw the link and I was really surprised it went because it was like really far away, and I was like, so I went to our immediately to our site and I was like, uh, so I apologize. I just shit leak like all the way up to where it was, and but then a couple other agents like started fielding off it and were actually making fields off it, so it ended up working out just fine. That was intentional. Yeah, part of a crucial app. Yeah, yep. just getting everybody out there doing stuffs. I wonder which, which That's okay. Funny. My memories capsule is the dark one. I guess that's black. Because hmm. it doesn't really have a color. I think it's interesting. I, we should do a thing. It's like, what's your favorite key or, or memory? Yeah. Key. I don't yeah. know if I could find it. It's, it probably says Michigan or something. Like I have King King Triton statue and Under the Sea Journey because I, I was a big uh, oh Little Mermaid fan. Uh, it's it's a thing. I grew up in that time uh, and Aladdin, so I can't wait to see the new Aladdin and hear, hearing good things about it. And this is one of my favorites. So there's a show called Fresh Off the Boat. Okay. And the dude owns Cattleman's ran Steakhouse Ranch. And I was driving home from the Austin Anomaly and just happened to pass by this Cattleman's Steakhouse. And I was like, oh, my God, I got to get a picture for, you know, uh, my wife and the kids because we all um, love watching that show together. And so I was like, well, I'll submit it at the same time. And it, it uh, took. So that was kind of cool. Gotcha. My one friend, she went to, she went to Vegas, and um, my favorite Star Trek movie is Star Trek IV: The Voyage Home, which is the one from the '80s where they go back in time with the whales and they save whales. <laughs> That's your favorite. So she has the port. She had the portal of the location where they filmed it, so I have that. One. <laughs> She's like, "Here, I know you'd want this." I was like, "I do." <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't get to go there, but like she traded, she like got it for me. So um, that's really cool. Yeah, stuff like that. I love hearing I, I those stories. Know. Everybody who has one, who's listening, send it in. Let us know uh, what, what your favorite key is, like the ones you keep and why. Why? Yeah. Send it on it. And do you collect them for other people like that? Like if you're out on a trip, do you bring back key souvenirs for folks? That's not. Um, gameplay related, you know, not strategic, but just like, oh, so and so likes this. Um, yeah, I think that'd be kind of cool. Hear those stories. I definitely do that with Pokemon Go presents. Like, I try to get ones that I think someone will like, but then I, I think you were the one who told me it's like, I, no one looks at those when you get them, really. I, I don't look at them. I, I, I mean, like, well, everyone gets if they get gifts for me, it's the same like three portals, like. <laughs> Every day, <laughs> I'm not traveling for gift like for Pokemon Go. Um, but well, there, keys you can save because the thing yeah. about the Pokemon Go, it's not to crap on Pokemon Go at all. It's just that when you open your gifts, it's gone. Yeah. So, you know, I do have a few people that I got. Uh, like I'm friends with them because I got them off of a friends list, like people who trade regularly, and so s some of them are from different countries. And so those I find interesting because they'll, they send kind of cool places and stuff. And I'm like, oh man, I'm just sending you the same old black <laughs> over and over again. Exact same one. But see, they're probably doing the same thing. And to them, the one they're sending like is just a awesome black. awesome place. Yeah. Right. Well, it's like I send one of my, um, uh, it's actually my old boss. Like our downtown area where we hit a lot, there's a, uh, one of the places is an old jail. And so I just, every time I make sure I send him a jail. I don't know if he's caught on yet that I just send him a jail every time. I don't know if that's... I'm going to start paying attention to what you send me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Why is he sending me that? It's an awful thing to send me. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so we also had some, uh, I guess, agency news. So the new yeah. community forums, which we'll talk about more uh, in SITREP. We got a nod from uh, Andrew Krug himself. Uh, we did, I, we, 
I made a post. Uh, it wasn't spammy. It's the only one. I see what you're it saying. It was we. As you represent we. It's That's a royal true. we. That's true. But so, yeah. I brought you in on that. <laughs> yeah. I was When I post on Instagram, it's a we. <sighs> right? I, I just don't want to... Like, if, if you think it's spammy, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I... I think it's opportunistic but not yeah. spammy because you only did it once <laughs> yeah it was definitely opportunistic but, but andrew if, posted on it said great podcast so thank you andrew yeah. and all the other um, great comments on there we'll get to in the new segment i would like it if uh i was th wondering like well we could post and like i wouldn't post every week that like oh new episodes out new episodes out new you know what i mean because that oh, would right. be spammy yeah, yeah. so i tested the waters by posting a reply in there um, cause I was thinking, well, I'll just, I'll, I can just post a reply in here and people like who just, you know, search for podcasts, you know, might find us or whatever. But right. whenever you post a reply, it bumps, it'll, it, it would be like, we're, we're bumping. So yeah, we can't, you know what I mean? It, yeah. I yeah. I, so you I don't know, want to use it. Like I posted a, an idea. It's basically my what's in the capsule idea. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I thought that'd be a good way to, to, get some feedback on it and we can talk about those because That's I, idea. the one thing I do like about it is it gives the agent's name like all the other avenues that we get information from that's not like on a forum like Twitter or YouTube it's their whatever account name is and most a lot of people don't use their agent names in those situations so I hate saying you know using their real name by accident yeah, or yeah. something else so Mary Smith from Connecticut who lives on one two three street and works at the bank yeah <laughs> right. social security number eight nine three mother like that. maiden name yeah whatever so we yeah well it'll be interesting to see how how long it takes uh for us to get banned there no just kidding we're not going to because we're not going to do anything to get banned right yeah i would like um because it, well, I guess we'll kind of talk about the forums as as we go. So maybe I should save it. But I would like it if there was like a little area, like just a signature line, then, then people could promote their, um, people could promote like their blogs if they had them, or their, if they had um, ingress like their local community or... ingress community links there, yeah. yeah, or their podcast there, <laughs> like, and then it wouldn't what? be a a blatant thing. Right. Whatever. Right. Uh, <laughs> well, um, there was another idea that uh, I wanted to float out there that uh, I thought was kind of a cool idea. Like we do for badges for anomalies and stuff. If if I can remember mm -hmm. to bring all the cards. But I was thinking mm -hmm. if agents wanted a badge on our site, so we'd have like new agent badges for either like first Saturdays or their community or for themselves to put on like bio cards or whatever that uh, we can make those and do that for them. Um, and I was wondering if like, like what, what would be a fair price to charge for that? Cause it is some work to set up a form and do the image stuff and all that. Like, like five bucks. Is that too much you think? Or is it just a badge for our website? Yeah, yeah. Like they would be able to give out a QR code with that it's would take like them to the Saturday. form and enter in the stuff, and and then they would mm. get a badge on our site. I don't know. I I think it's something worth talking about because on one hand, too, it's like massively promotional for us as well. Like we yeah. get more people coming to our website to to like. I mean, it's not really where people go to listen to the podcast because. That's right. like off a pod feed or right. stuff. But, you know, it is nice to have that community there um, for things and uh, for news and discussions and things like that. So, yeah. Um, like, like, I've done it for people for ops and for, like, I was going to do one for a friend for a first Saturday next month and stuff. But it is time. Like, I'd love to do it for free because it is somewhat promotional if they're sending people there. But it's just but, the time requirement on it. I need to kind of yeah. put some kind of barrier on there that not everybody goes. Because as soon as you say free, it's like everybody's going to, you know, hey, yeah, I want that. 
that's something to give out. Yeah, for free. Yeah, if, um, yeah, yeah. No, I totally get that. And if it's a one flat fee of five dollars for their, and then they can give it out to you know all fifty people at their first Saturday, like that code or whatever. Um, then that's that's a pretty good deal for like a you know a prize just for showing up to the first Saturday. Right. Um, and you know if they don't like it they don't it's not like we're requiring people to buy it so. yeah that's true. so let us know what you think uh, but yeah because what happens if i mean there's first saturdays all over the world what happens if you get 20 requests in one week you know like or you know one month you're right, gonna be like right. okay yeah that'll a, be a, a you a know of a day of work so it's like yeah it yeah yeah. So yeah. So let us know what you think about that. Uh, you may hear more about that in the next few episodes. I might get it rolling. Mm -hmm. And if it gets to be something where it's it's too much, it's too crazy, then you know you can adjust your rate as needed. Yeah, kind of like Stamp Endo. I think it's like ten bucks to mail in an envelope. Stamp Endo <laughs> needs to just perish. It does. Uh, Except yeah. for all my websites run off that. Anyway, different podcast. Let's go ahead and move into this. <laughs> sit, 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 situation report. So, we've got some news this week. Some things happened. What? And we're going to discuss it. First off is, is the big AP event for linking and fielding World Oceans Day. Do you have fun getting your 600K AP? I did, but I didn't link for World Oceans Day because oh. I was at uh, the amusement park. Oh, so yeah, for like that whole day, like. So you could have um, done like two, three million if you'd been participating in that. Well, I couldn't just run all over though, you know. Like I was pretty <laughs> limited, like so. And then I started getting nervous about linking all over the park. Like, what if I'm? T I didn't know if those two other players were there. You know, and I don't know. And I wasn't gonna be able to mini field with any strategic thought like i was just right. gonna be throwing links crazy all over the park and i thought well that's mean what if they're actually doing a mission so <laughs> You're very i was overthinking the whole thing and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna hack and deploy and just leave it at that and so i linked like two or three things in that before i was like oh that might not be a good idea so i out. enjoy the day with so, your family i did enjoy the day with my family and so pretty much none of that um, experience was, was from that. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's pretty uh, much the most of what I did playing was on that day. I did a lot of micro fielding and and just uh, making links and fields and and so that was. I hope they continue to do different events like that. They also had an event uh, for Pride Parade, I believe, in California, where they set up some portals along the route, but I, I didn't see any like sit rep post afterwards to know exactly what happened like yeah. exactly what was come from those portals but it's really cool that they're hitting those events definitely and uh glyph challenge that is happening this weekend and the glyph challenge from june 14th to the 16th is mined that's so easy guys it's like a little tiny diamond all you have to do is make a triangle then another triangle on the other side. Boom. Send it in. Sorry, is, are you right? gonna, are you gonna do it's it? I do. It's the it's I can. the left mind, body, soul, right? So it's the left one. Yeah, but I mean Yeah, it's basically a yeah. triangle with a Just a longer triangle at the diamond. bottom. Yeah. 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 So I mean, yeah. And maybe get So you gonna uh, do it? You gonna make it? Some I, if I can. I don't know. I'm going to try. It's Father's Day weekend, too. Yeah. There's, like, always family stuff, man. <laughs> right? Always. Always. I'm like, oh, well, man. I already have commitments on Saturday for that and then Sunday for that. So it's like, well, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was we'll all, like, last weekend. Like, Friday was um, Soho's birthday. So went out. And awesome. uh, had had some bears with uh, Soho and some other friends, and then so that was pretty much with work and that all day. And then Saturday, I needed to go pick up a, a washer and dryer that my parents were getting rid of, 
but then it rained out but i was already out so i was already fielding and then anyway so so there's yeah. a lot of ingress in that day but then the next day it was like all family stuff again for a birthday and blah blah blah, blah. so yeah. i yes family. and like with it being father's day like it's not about me so i can't just take off you know <laughs> but and then like for someone like you like the day is about you so you gotta be around for your kids Sorry. so you can't go do anything either <laughs> right it's like, like oh like, yay it's a day for me <laughs> right it's like um uh, you know what no i love you i do i love you but but uh you gotta anyway. come over to my uh my dad's place now dad's dad's yeah. dad's so anyway yeah. hope everybody has a uh, great uh father's day if you're yeah. a father if you have a father one or the other whatever whatever's going on with if that. you know a father a father figure yeah, yeah whatever it is yep 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 so um go out and glyph challenge if you get some time uh also the ingress community that everybody's been waiting on to see what was going to take place of g plus has been released and you can go to it today and sign up with your ingress account or really just log in just uses your regular ingress account and uses your ingress name and it is at community.ingress.com and that's um, right sir and we've got a new segment coming up right after this one that is all about it because there is so much content now because all the not all of them but there are some niantic employees posting like daily answering questions and commenting and asking for feedback and all the feedback stuff is there there's agents recruiting for local communities there's sit reps there's event discussion and there's an ama first ama since g plus went down was held yesterday and andrew krug is going to be gathering the answers for that over uh possibly the next two weeks is the time frame he gave and this will be the ama for this month and next month and then the next one will be in August. I believe he said August 12th, but hmm. I may have that date wrong. It'll be early August. Awesome. I like, too, that there's an area for, like, OPR support and feedback and things like that, too. Because it feels like it's a little more open now. Because G+, Plus, sometimes it kind of took a while to kind of ferret out the places where you were supposed to post stuff and then it it seemed almost hidden even though it's not hidden it just seemed kind of hard to find like some things in my I opinion. never got G plus I never it never took off with me I mean it's kind of like, like the wave kind of like yeah how it did with everybody I mean and there are people who really loved Google plus you know like yeah. the community stuff um, I never did because um, I don't know. I don't really like that. <sighs> Honestly, you have to put like, I have my Gmail, which is my real name. Um, <laughs> and I don't want that out there for like, like I play a lot of video games and sometimes I just want, I, I don't want my real name out there for video game stuff. Uh, because that's a different community. And yeah. so um you'd have to make a second gmail account and then have your you know and then remember to log out of your one before you post on that one and then log into the other one but then you're not on your email it was always this big pain in the butt like to just i just want to post i just want to log in and post people <laughs> so this is something i'll actually use um whereas the g plus i wouldn't even you know i just never yeah. used it you've already used it the community the new one i did yeah, yeah. So yeah. how was your I looked experience? at it when they first put it up, but I uh, first post. Blam. Uh, and awesome. It's, it's old school forums. If you ever it used is. forums in the past, it's uh, it works pretty much like that, which honestly kind of works for what they need it for. So, you know, could it have been some weird, crazy, new, modern something? Maybe, but... I'm good with this and I've posted a bit. I'm still not level two yet. So you can level up on it. And, uh, the issues right now are like when you, 
when you post, you can't post like links or images until you're like a certain level. But that includes huh. quoting. So like if you quote someone, you can't. It'll be like you can't post links yet. And I'm like, I, I didn't, and they didn't. No one did. Uh, so it's it's, just it's a it's a bug of some sort. Oh okay. And they and they have been fairly quick on a, on a, fixing a lot of bugs. Like there's a, a forum for posting about issues with the forums themselves, and mm -hmm. they're taking care of them. They're adding features that they can based off um, agent feedback as well. So, I have a question. Yes. How does this look on a mobile device? Because I've I, only seen it on, huh? I don't know. Okay, I've only used. Yeah, I've only checked it on the PC. So. Me That'd be my only well. other, you know, thing I need to check out because it's a mobile-based game. So you would think that that would be fairly well integrated. Yeah, mobile first, <laughs> right? Yeah. That's the new thing. Um, I'm going to assume it's fine till I look at it myself. <laughs> uh, just, it, it'll work or I'll use it on sure PC. I'll just start carrying a laptop around with me to use the community. Uh, also, there was a... And I meant to say this after the World's Oceans Day because this is supposed to be a segue into a wave oh. of bands <gasps> rolls in. Oh, that's so smooth. I'm going to pretend like you did do that because that's awesome. <laughs> so I don't know if you've heard about this in like your local community or just online. But apparently there's been a lot of bands today that appear to be hitting people's relatives or uh, like their relatives accounts, you know, like I haven't even asked my kids yet. Like, hey, can y'all log in? Oh, oh, yeah, actually I should. Uh, yeah, my husband and my kid play so rarely they won't notice for like a month or two. <laughs> and I don't know if it's, you know, people who... Um, trade a lot with their relatives like you know have their relatives account basically hold oh, stuff yeah. for them a lot because it, it was also people yeah. would lose items that had been given to them by those players as well oh so i don't know oh uh, that's one thing i've never done like i kind of felt like it was kind of like i mean my husband and my son have accounts and the opportunity was there but my son is very likely to just delete his account any day. Like, if he's just like, <laughs> eh, I don't care. So, I would never give him anything like that was something I Important. wanted. <laughs> and my husband's like, he, like, when I play, like, if I'm out at work or something, like, we're not together. When I go out to play, like, he's rarely with me. So, it's not like I could easily trade with him unless I, unless I did it all from home. Like, that was, I don't know. Yeah. But then I'd have to have his phone to do it. He would get annoyed. Like, yeah, yeah. it's just not That's worth it. That's exactly what It's really happens. not worth that. It <laughs> like, really he's isn't. Be like, you want my phone for, like, why? <laughs> well, stupid game. <laughs> I mean, it's it's like, um, um, you know, both my kids have an account and my wife has an account. And there were times, like, before like an anomaly where I needed to clear out a ton of space. I didn't want to lose all these keys mm -hmm. or something. So I'd be like, Hey, here, can you pick up these capsules? And they're like, what? Oh God, I got to update. And like, yeah. <laughs> cause they hadn't I like could... opened the thing since last time I made them go play ingress with me. Yeah. I've never played an anomaly, but I could totally see like dropping keys. Like, like we were talking earlier, like the ones that are sentimental value. Yeah. Like, like here, hold these. Cause they're totally just taking up space. Um, I don't know. Yeah. I can see that. But is that cheating? Like, if you just have someone hold your stuff for you? As long as... For... Like, the I mean, technicality player... is, is if it's a separate account and they're doing the actions. Like, okay. technically, if you take their phone and start doing all the trading, then no. Yeah. Uh, that's not yeah, legal. That's but, yeah. And that's kind of my one, like... Like, either add in more space that you can buy or get over the whole backpack thing because it's like, uh, yes, it's a little more annoying for me, but I can still do it. But then if people are doing it and then getting banned because they're just doing it more, 
Like that doesn't yeah. seem fair. It seems like I I have friends that are like talking about like this is the last straw. Like they didn't want to go to prime in the first place, and now this is happening. They're like, I've, like lost a bunch of gear. Uh, you know, my relatives' yeah. accounts banned. They can't, you know, do yeah, anything. and like, yeah, yeah, and it's just a bad experience for even if it's like a you know a misfire and you, you hit someone who was not, you know, cheating. Like, do you think that person, they already don't play that much as it is? Do you think they're going to want to play? Yeah. Like, it's just too much hassle. Like, no. I'm not going to, like, go submit a ticket to try to get the account back. (laughs) My husband would not care. He would be like, well, fine. (laughs) You know? And then it's like, I have a player around here who, like, so he basically stopped playing for a few days. And you know what? There's a ton of res and uh enlightened accounts that we know are his that all stopped at the same time he's always using them to cheat with by doing different things do you think any of those got banned not a one so it's are like you serious yeah and it's like i know for a fact the dude's been reported multiple times for spoofing this and that and it's like why are you going after this bs kind of crap when there's more issues out there and so I just like I think this was a very bad decision, honestly, to like do this at this moment. I don't know what the criteria was or the reasons why the people got banned, though. Like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean that is the thing, right? Like, I trust my friends and the ones that I know who have said it. I wouldn't think they would cheat. Yeah. But you never know, right? They could have just yeah. been straight up on the same phone switching accounts and trading stuff but you know it's just i i just i have a hard time believing that about uh the agents that i know who have told me yeah so but who knows all my backpacks are good so (laughs) you know i'm just kidding man okay so anyway let us know what you think about that about yeah uh backpacks in general should they sell more space? Uh, sell, I don't know, like, Im- like flip your inventory for anomalies so you can keep a set that, I don't know, there's, needs, I, something needs to be done. The Pokemon, like, you should be able to... Oh, internet's dying. Is that you or is that me? Some sort of coin in game, of course. It's not your fault. Oh, is he downloading stuff? <laughs> is that why the internet just died? No. Well, that's a, no. He's, uh, he's not doing anything. <laughs> I thought anyway. he's like, sorry I downloaded that terabyte of data. <laughs> no, he's getting ready to take a shower. He's not doing anything. Um, anyway. Uh, but uh, we missed that where, last where part. We? Pokemon Go being able to oh, buy, yeah, buy space. I mean, I've said this before. Like, I can buy bag space in Pokemon Go and I can gain that bag space either through legitimate gameplay or by purchasing it so it's you know you give people it's not a pay to win because you can earn it as well so you you still have a, a valid way for free to play players to still max out their inventory I mean eventually there's going to be a max um, like with Pokemon Go uh, but I think that would be a way to do that. I don't know. I don't think it's like a big deal. If someone wants to have like, I mean, I guess it. Yeah, it is a massive. It's a massive bonus to have like excess keys and excess, you know, extra bursters and resonators and stuff like that. But you're also the one, you know, either you're you're harvesting them through glyph hacking or you've made community connections and you're you know, doing some trades or whatever. So it all seems like legit gameplay stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and and when the fact comes down to that you can trade and give stuff to other players, legitimate players, you can always find a way to store stuff. Yeah. With friends and family. Uh, I mean, I can ask a coworker, hey, can you download this game and start a character and hold this for me for a week? And they'd probably do it. Matter of fact, I have a couple coworkers that are starting to play. Really? At least they downloaded it, and I know their name. 
That's about it. So okay. But that's you good. know what I mean. So I gotta, yeah. That's two thousand spaces right there, just off the bat for. Mine's well. No see, effort. I'm when I when we share stuff. I'm like uh, okay, so I'm gonna be going for my glyph hacking. So I'm I'm already at like nineteen hundred items like right now. So I'm going to have to you know give some gear away. Uh, but when I do it. I know I'm not getting it back from the people I get. Right, it to. right. <laughs> like, yeah. They're not holding it for me. <laughs> like it's like, all right. Well, I'd rather give it to them and have someone use the stuff though than, um, than just delete it. Um, and that way, at least you know my friends are getting AP and MUs and all that jazz. So, um, yeah. I mean, you make a friend that's going for glow if you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe they just take but, trading out completely. <gasps> well, it's not really trading. I mean, that you're dropping be... items and they're picking it up. Right, so but if you you'd couldn't have to drop dropping... anything, <gasps> would that break the game? Like, can you imagine having to get all the keys to every field that you were going to throw? But then doesn't that really change the community? Like, like I, there's YouTube videos that I've watched of people who have made you know, connections cross, you know, you know, with yeah. travel and airports and stuff in order to make these amazing fields and communities have come together to like clear the ways and stuff. And all of those ops, uh, when I watch them, it's, it's like, wow, I wish I could be a, like a part of that. But then like, then I'm like, oh, but I like to sleep. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, it would no. totally break the game. <laughs> yeah. I think losing out on that part of the game like I just like knowing it's out there and if I was someone who had the freedom to play like that that would that would ruin the game for me because that does like I could see that being a very compelling part of Ingress yeah so yeah. no I think that'd be a I think that's a way it would be a horrible punish idea it's okay legitimate to say it. players yeah you can so huh. it so hoeing this idea uh, it punishes legit players it's not punishing the 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 bad guys, so I don't like it. Inconceivable! Yeah. I didn't have the other one. but uh, So, okay, last thing in the situation report is Dunraven case studies are now officially closed. The last one was posted, episode 30, just a couple days ago. If you're wondering where episode 28 is, because it's not actually listed as 28... Unlike YouTube, it's the colon video. That is number 28. You can okay. actually see the list on Dunraven, the Dunraven website. They're, they actually have all the case studies in order on one page. So unless it's a fake site and I've been fooled all this time. Uh, yeah. Because it, it was kept up to date with the video. So it's uh, I'm character. up to 29. I still have to watch 30. What I miss? What's, what's the haps? Just Did some more Johnsons. It? Double Johnsons. Oh, okay. There's more Johnsons? Oh, Are there three Johnsons? The same Johnsons, but they're together. Okay. <laughs> um, that makes, that so just yeah. cracks me up every time they do that. I'm like, oh my god, guys, you gotta quit doing that. <laughs> uh, two Hanks. Uh, maybe two Hanks would be better than saying two Johnsons. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh. This show's already almost an hour, and we're just to their brand new segment, which is... Sightings. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, my God. It's so intense. I don't know what that's from, but wow. It's a double rainbow, dude. And oh, from okay. The Shaft. So I'm stealing it from our other old podcast. A little bit. All right. Um... So sightings, this is, there's so much content that I think is good on the community now that I think uh, people will be interested in hearing. So we're going to try to aggregate all the stuff from like Niantic employees in one wow. place in the podcast. Uh, so we may get through this pretty quick unless there's something to talk about. So Andrew Krug, AMA, they're back. On the community, uh, they already posted and closed the first one. There's like eight pages of questions. Uh, we'll let you know the important ones when they get posted. Um, next one here. You want to read this one? Niantic Scott says there's a UI update one uh, underway now. 
challenges arise, though, because if we change one thing, it may, may have an unintended impact elsewhere. He's a consequences, but I'm, I'm paraphrasing. So, uh, basically, squash one bug. More bugs come out over here. It's a big pain in the butt. Typical stuff. Um, so, they're working on it. So, that's kind of cool, a new UI. It scares me that, like, people who are just now getting used to a drastically different UI with Prime and they're going to change it. What? Like, like I'm worried about the people who are the last ones leaving redacted coming to a new UI and then like the next day it changing. Oh my God. They're going to be like, I'm out. Right. Right. So it's like, sh what do you think? Should they wait months before doing a new UI or try to get it in before the end of redacted? Like what's their mom that plays once every three months is like, what is this sweetie? I'm banned. And then this happens. And the, yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> every day I log in, it's a different game. Every single day. Always so, so it's anyway. great that they're updating it. Just think about that. I, I would say that there's are going to be confused people. Um, the next one is from Niantic Scott is as well. Um, Terrence says uh, there's a bug that causes the app to freeze after roughly half an hour of play it's a problem that pokemon go has been plagued with since the beginning and unfortunately it persists in prime too backgrounding the app or having it open for too long starts causing network requests to lock the clients up as they wait for minute long timeouts tends to happen less often on wi-fi not that i'm often on it when out and playing but even on a relatively stable mobile network connection it can still lock up frequently enough that i give up and return to redacted niantic no! scott replied don't, don't do that just start the app it's no big deal just restart it yeah. just restart the app and uh, we got a good reply from Niantic Scott who said this is something that has vexed the dev team for a bit as it was initially hard to reproduce I was also encountering it rather frequently we made some changes under the hood and now we've not experienced it with the next update that's coming out However, it doesn't mean it's fixed yet. So if you could, please try 2.24 when it comes and see if you still experience the problem. So that's awesome. That's a, that's a big it bug. It is, especially, yeah, if you're on the road for a while, um, like I just leave it open, have my phone plugged in and I'm sitting there in the, you know, passenger seat or whatever and start going through a small town. You're like, yay! And like, Oh no! I gotta like restart the app, and then by the time the app restarts, you're back on the freeway. You're like, Man. <laughs> it's like, oh, that yeah. sucks. Okay. Next, uh, Doo -doo. and and these are the name of the agent with their question in gray, and then the ingress okay. employee. In so Chiu June. Oh no, that's the date. So yeah, that's their would that be? name. Chiu June. And then oh, six, <laughs> yeah, it's just. Person. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah. There. No, you're not. Prime was pushed too soon. It feels like an alpha to beta phase. And Niantic Scott replied and said there were technical risks that we needed to mitigate, among other things. If we didn't have something available, then Ingress could have disappeared until we released something. That's interesting, because Redacted is out. Anyway, Redacted is still a ticking time bomb. Some API level issue could cause it to stop functioning without warning. Wow. So, and I think that's a, a big one for people to take heed of. Like, do you want to be forced into Prime, or do you want to be able to... Play it all. Start yeah. working it. Like, like I, I wish they had kind of push this uh, point more when they first released why yeah. they released it because I know it had to, a lot to do with the platform that was uh, they were built on iOS was sunsetting and so I, I don't know if they had to pay extra to get them to maintain it for a little bit longer but the fact is it was going away and they had to basically finish the coding and as mad as some people are about some of the bugs I mean it's it's a hard thing to do and you can't just hire 50 people and do it like anyway so give them a little bit of slack and um try prime just do it for a month like 
Here's my challenge to everyone who doesn't want to go to Prime. Drop Redacted for one month. Don't go into Redacted at all for one month. At the end of that month, make your decision then. Honestly, um, there it's not. I I can't see them going back in to fix Redacted as they push out new content, you know, new updates and stuff for Prime. I mean, are they really going to go and update? So, like, anytime, yeah, Redacted crashes, it's, I mean, that's just going to happen more and more frequently, right? Yeah. Until finally one day, yeah. poof, it's just done. So, um, I don't know. That's, that's personal call. Some people hate change. That is true. That is true. And... So I, I mean, it sucks, but um, think these things happen. I don't know. I'm not someone who I, didn't bother me. I just switched, so I'm I'm not really. I don't know. I'm not the good voice for this one. So yeah, I I like new things to some degree. Like I like trying new technologies anyway. So it, it was hard to get used to prime like immediately it, it did take like just sinking myself into it and not going to redacted for a, probably a week and then like slowly it became to where i know what people are feeling about prime that's how i feel about redacted at this point like i dread that something goes wrong with prime and, and i feel the need to go back in there which i haven't felt in yeah since the anomaly like i think something happened during the the anomaly that i went to redact it just because it's like okay this is anomaly and you just feel like well i got to use what's the most stable but i didn't really have any problems with prime so i don't know we were me and um a coworker were at a conference and i was on prime and she was on redacted and so we were in this new ta- new to us town and I was like, oh, well, there's there's a portal right to the right. It's up, you know, it's up a street and over to the right. It's gray. We can grab that. And she was like, uh, how are you seeing that? Because fields in Prime, you can still see the portals. And I, told, I look at her phone and I'm like, it's right. I'm like, oh, she's using redacted. And because it was, we were under like this big multi-layer field, like she couldn't see the roads. She couldn't see like anything. So she was like basically playing blind where I'm like it's up a road and over like it's right there <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh that's that is super useful in prime yeah anyway um next or next uh Jontabula Bula says give all agents that join the community the community medal in prime and Niantic Mac said it's something we are considering yay I love Badges. <laughs> so that'd be and, awesome. And there's supposed to be medals or badges in the forums themselves too. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. That may be too many to like do like tons that went into Prime, but definitely I think joining the community one. deserves one. Yeah, you can do yeah. one. So anyway, that was a light fair this week, but that was the new I like segment. It. Well, I hope you like. What's in the capsule? 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 There, that was the capsule. It opened up and spit out some stuff. I have an idea that I want to talk about this week. We don't. Have to I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to Soho about. this idea. No. Oh, no, I haven't even heard it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please don't. Whatever you do, don't show her my idea. <laughs> so anyway, my idea is a, and I posted this on the community ingress forum. So if you want to like make a comment and whatever, we'll talk about the comments uh, next week. But basically the idea is a new item. And this would be a, a basically a shard portal. And so, It'd be a new item that you get by however you get it, you get it, and you go somewhere and you place this on the ground and it basically creates a shard portal. And then um, there's four slots for 
enlightened four slots for resistance and once you fill the portal with with um resonators it uh spawns a shard and four um target portals two for each uh faction and then uh whatever time limit 24 hours 48 hours two hours um you you try to get your shards into the target portals and if you do you'll get a certain amount of mu for your cell and so it'll be like in the cell area and then that's pretty much it and so it's like a little mini game that you could run and uh there's some great some suggestions about um uh, basically a smaller version uh, agent Vane was talking about having a smaller version that you could use on uh, first Saturdays and in smaller events so they wouldn't be like all over the cell um, and so I kind of mer merged the ideas and so if you put like ones in the resonators in the portal then it would be a smaller kind of field of play to where eights in every slot and it might be your cell in the neighboring cell so it'd get bigger but it's like both factions would almost need to agree on what it is because like it doesn't work unless you have people from each faction filling up the resonators so then you have a little game don't soho it i see your nod that's the soho nod um, I think it's a lovely concept that would be difficult to implement in many communities. Uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea of adding in more, um, stuff to make people work together and be friends and nice and stuff like that, but, um, also, uh, I don't know, like, you can't alienate people who don't want that <laughs> because the game is very I mean you're, you are working together within the community and stuff like that too but there is still a lot of freedom within the game too um, well you'd be fighting autonomous. against each other yeah. still huh? like the only working together would be to fill up the resonators on that portal Yeah. but then you're but fighting to keep the shard from their port from their targets while you're trying to get them to your targets Mm -hmm. So you have like a shard battle, and so then it's like, what? do what? What would prevent me mm -hmm. if if they were about to win, just blowing it up? <laughs> All right. Well, well you maybe you couldn't right? blow up the shard portal. Maybe because it doesn't need to. It just goes away once it's just done. Some details. Right? Yeah, yeah. We have to work out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Huh. The, all these ideas are details. Little details. Got to put out there. All right. Yeah. So there's a nugget. So post on the idea your comments. Hate it, love it. Make a post. Hmm. Let's know how you feel. Hmm. Don't be surprised if Sally Belly goes there and Soho's all over it. Yeah, I've I've got a there's a chat there. There was an audio tisk uh, that I did, and apparently. That that is annoying to some some folks in the chat. Sorry about that. I think it's a while ago. It's it was oh, just okay. your internet. Your internet was oh. doing that thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, we have some call-in ideas. We have some, well, all? no, Gosh. no call-ins. All oh, all uh, these are all either submissions in the form or posts. Uh, and I might skip a couple of them. Okay, because there's we could save some. Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll save some. All right. Um, I guess uh, I'll start with uh, DSOT88 said, Kia Ora from New Zealand. I and I bet many others will have a gripe about the issue around hacking in Prime. What occurs is when you hack, a pop-up box comes up at the completion with the items hacked in the middle of the scanner. This inhibits quick hacking other portals in the scanner. No issue in redacted. The pop-up box does not disappear until you click outside it and is very frustrating for those who have lower spec devices. Get rid or move it outside the scanner. Niantic, please. Yes, I hate this. I agree yeah. completely. This is... I don't understand why it has to be there. I'm trying to click on ghosted portals and just throw a resonator down as you know 
I'm getting driven past and I'm missing them because I have to just do these stupid taps of all this stuff that I'm claiming from the last one I did and I want to get my hack numbers up and it's just like why why are these boxes here and it's costing me um, you know the ability to capture portals because you know in a portal dense area and you're going 35 miles an hour um, it's just it gets to be too much with the just popping up yeah yeah. Um, no. oh. What's that thing in. where it pops up? Oh, when you're attacking, ten percent damage. You know, fifteen. You know, percent extra damage and stuff like that. Oh, I'm, I'm messing up again. You're good now. Okay. That <laughs> whenever you're attacking, there's a little mini box that shows like that. Percentage. It's right in the center, right on top of the portal. And it's just like that's I need to see when that goes with ghosted. So and and you have this stupid percentage box right on top of the thing I'm trying to look at. Um so yeah, I, I don't like the placement of the uh, bonus percentage damage for the, the long attack. And um also I agree that the pop up box with all the gear, like I don't know. Like, no, I agree. Give me a way to pull it up if I wanna look at it, but I don't I don't need all this. Like in Pokemon Go, just have the journal kind of thing that, which yeah. I wish they had that because I don't look at the box. I don't look at the crap coming out. Like every once in a while, I'll catch an item on it, but I don't want to look at it. I want it out of my way because I'm just doing stuff. Yeah. But if I go back in the journal and see quickly, oh, that's cool. I got this or that. That would be useful. And maybe that's the UI update they're talking about. I hope so because that thing's awful. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to read one? Yes. Or am I... You're good. Glitching out too much. Okay. Gingivitis would just like to see more lore in the game. Not sure what would be a good way to go about it, but that would be fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, when I switch to Prime, um, you have to go and redo the tutorial. It's a long tutorial now, and it really gives you a lot more information than the tutorial did uh, in, you know, original Ingress. And so um, that... That was helpful, but uh, having all the YouTube, I think that they've been having more media drop. Uh, yeah. But I know a lot of people just delete that too. So yeah, we need. I'm a not media really sure capsule. what the answer is. Yeah, we do. Or a media tab. Um, hey, get rid of the media items. Mm -hmm. We need a media tab and we need a community tab, one that takes us right to the forum. Right in the game. Yeah. The the com com tab. Yeah. Get rid of the in-game comms and just go with that. No. Um, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, lore would be great. Get, add some uh, missions, some different than the current missions, whatever you want to call them, assignments or something that are lore-driven. Like the, I don't even know what they're called in Pokemon Go. Trainer quests. <laughs> Make it up stuff. Oh, yeah, that would be a cute idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we also got one here from Hizzy Biz. Agent Hizzy Biz says, Is there anyone else out there that thinks there should be a mod that allows enlightened and resistance agents to deploy resonators on the same portal? I'm thinking of it in terms of cross-faction field art. I also have a feeling it might be a tool to allow for future cross-faction cooperative efforts based on the ingress lore. Also, what happened to Soho? I saw him in the credits of the Ingress animation and thought to ask. Uh, first, Soho is, he's working a lot, and I just saw him send him a, a com bomb him with a happy birthday. He just turned old, and uh, but he's doing good. So, uh, he's still there. He's just not podcasting anymore. And, yeah, let's... Uh, what do you think about making that into a shard portal that you can do field art off of? No. So I guess the the answer to his question is yes. There is one other person out there that thinks there should be a mod. Uno. Um, no, no, we've had this idea before uh, mm. in terms of field art and for other reasons too. Um, we've had this come up before. Uh, people have had ideas on how to make that happen. I was kind of thinking for first Saturdays it would be nice if you know that that initial portal you know you had to have 
four blue and four green on it. Like, one faction couldn't own that. Like, make that a shared portal. Um, Because otherwise... Then it would stay in eight the whole time. Huh? Like, then it would stay in eight the whole time, because... Yeah. A lot of times it won't be anything but neutral, you know? It just keeps flipping back and forth. Yeah. Uh, And speaking of First Saturday, there's... A couple from an agent that were on a YouTube video, but it, it kind of takes a long bit of stuff, so we're going to save that one. Okay. Um, but it's uh, it's he thinks I was uh, telling people to cheat. So you cheater! I, right. So I definitely want to talk about it. So you know, cliffhanger there for you. Come back next week and hear about how I'm a dirty cheater or telling people to cheat. It'll be interesting. Oh, It'll be fun. Man. Accidental cheating. <laughs> and then I did want to shout out to uh, Louise PL7. Is that, you think that's? Yep. Uh, this was, we just got on Spotify and it was because of an agent suggested it and I couldn't remember who it was last week. This is the agent, Louise PL7, ah. who said, hey, Agent Academy, I have a suggestion. How about getting your podcast in Spotify too? There's a bigger audience there. And I laughed at it at the time, and I'm sorry. I appreciate you saying something and uh, making me go look, because we are there now on Spotify. And the numbers are insane. Insane. Like, just crazy. <laughs> and while you're on Spotify, go download The Boom Boom Room by Hunter Copeland. That's my brother. He has a new uh, jazz album out there. It's all instrumental. It's an amazing. Wow. He's an incredible guitar player. And um, go listen to it. Uh, so we'll save the rest of these, I guess. All right. Yeah, there's a bunch. There's like 10 more. So thanks for sending all those in. We will get to them next week. There's a bunch of short ones. So we will we will get to them. Yep, thank you. Keep sending them in, and um, we'll try. I yeah. We were talking a lot in the beginning, because this, this podcast actually was like a week and a half, because uh, we usually do it on Mondays, and it's a Wednesday, so more content. It's always good content, right? There's a fly! I'm going to go have Something. my husband... I'm going to have my husband and son go check and see if they're banned. <laughs> That'll be a good experiment, and I'll, I'll see if my family's banned. And I've never had Adam hold anything or pass anything back. I don't think. I, I think I need to take a look at what they have and see if uh, there's anything there I need to get off their accounts before they get banned. Uh, I think I gave my husband a QCAP once when I had one. I was like, oh, he'll like this. And he never checked it. <laughs> so, so it's just full. Really Whatever it's it in there, full. there's a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I put this key to the uh, library in there. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I need some of those. Hundred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's stuff. What kind of? It's you know what? It was so old. It's probably filled with very rare stuff because it was way back when you could still replicate very. So I should, if he's not banned, maybe I should like this will be his first trade. Be like, no, you have to drop it. <laughs> I don't like, wanna. We'll do later. I yeah, wanna. it'll be like we'll do that later, and then like it'll be like next podcast. You'll be like, so did you get that? I'm like, no. No, we got <laughs> banned. Doing it later, which I can't complain because I never play Pokemon with them. So, yeah, uh, y'all should yeah trade off. Yeah, I'll send you gifts. You drop that Q cap. You want me to start withholding oh, gifts to him? Huh? No. You want me to start withholding gifts what? to him? If he doesn't play Ingram. No, 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 don't do that to him. No, I haven't even asked him. This is totally unfair speculation. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably been playing, you just don't know it. Yeah. He's pulled but it up see, and he's now, level 15. Because when I filled up his QCAP, it was with the gear from his account. So if I have him drop that QCAP, I can't take it because that is... Che- is that cheating, community? If, if what now? Would that be cheating? If you did what? So, okay, because when I gave him the Q cap, I gave him a Q cap empty, and then yeah. I filled it up with his gear to replicate. Yeah. So, I can't have him drop that and take that gear now, because that would be cheating then, right? Be- because you picked up his phone and you did it? 
No, no, no. Even if he uses his phone and drops it for me to use, would no. that be cheating? Because no. then that's I'm just... using his gear. You can use. That's you know just what I mean? training. Because I don't know. I mean, that's yeah. the thing. That's that's what's so stupid about the whole like. Oh, backpack because he's not thing. an active player. Yeah, and then it. But like, he is question, another player. Like, like he is, he it, is. He is a separate person with a separate account. That's and there there have the been times like factor. Don't say it. Don't say there, it out loud. There ha- what? <laughs> no, oh no no no! <laughs> there have been times where like we're at a portal and like there was this one time I ran out of bursters. I was compl- and like I needed to just blow off one more resonator. I was out. So yeah. he he was like, okay. So he like. Open, but he played his account and blew yeah, it up for me. That was perfectly <laughs> like, was okay. Like, Thank that, you. Because he has enough, like, he played the game. He's, like, level 7. Like, so he has enough understanding of how everything works that I don't have to, like, yeah. coach him or anything like that. But, um, but no. No, he did it. And so, like, there's occasions where he'll help me out, but he's doing it. Yeah. That's... So... Not only is that legit, yeah. that's... That's what Ingress wants. That's what Niantic wants, because... Hopefully, gameplay. he does it enough or something just clicks at some point where he's like, oh, I like this. or And he then becomes yeah. a player. Um, so that's absolutely what they want. It's, I think, like, the worst part is, I think, when people start multi-accounting. Not backpacking, but when they actually start using a secondary account to go do actions in-game that affect, affect other players. That's wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think it's a it's a quick... Well... It's an easy yeah. leap from having a backpack that you just use to throw gear back and forth to, well, I need an extra key for a field, or uh, I could throw on some resonators and level this. You know, it's it's just too easy so i think that's kind of the why but it's a slippery I, slope yeah i think i think the player just, has to play the yeah you have to have if it's a different account another human being has to be the one doing the action yeah that's it that's yeah, the that's hard it. rule and as long as they're, if like my husband's totally willing to do that like which he's not by the way <laughs> like, <laughs> like he's not gonna be cool with like me dropping everything all the time <laughs> <laughs> Um, but if you had someone who would be totally like willing to do that every other day, then you know someone is playing the game with you. Like, I mean, I don't know, but yeah. how do you, yeah, how do you, I don't know how you tell that that's happening. Yeah, I don't like, so I don't know how that, yeah, I don't know how it's happening. I, I have requested more information about it so hopefully maybe we'll get some clarification i doubt it i think this is probably too internal that they don't want to give out any data on yeah because if they do have how. some sort of way of telling they're not going to want to like reveal that because people will find a way around it so right we turn on your camera <laughs> and we see your oh. face <laughs> you like, are seeing some bad bathroom stuff <laughs> people are sorting keys <laughs> Old bathroom is, keys. Uh, I think we just learned a lot okay. about Agent Zelly okay Belly to tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what? I said I think we learned a lot about Agent Zelly Belly tonight. Uh, uh, so be careful well, you when you uh, trade mean. keys with her. They have a little bit of fecal matter. Not trading. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so anyway. You know what I mean. Thank you everyone for showing up for doing so. We actually have a gift for you. It's absolutely free. You can just go to the Agent Academy podcast website and enter in a code for the episode 60 badge. And the code is AA World Oceans. AA. That's it. That's all you get. You get a nice little Woo! shiny 60 badge and 60 AP points on the website. And uh, that's it. You got anything else? No. No. I've talked enough. Y'all get nothing. It's uh, It's been a good episode. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, my incredible co-host. Thank you, my incredible co-host. And we will see everyone next week or else. Bye.